Good afternoon all, I hope you are well. Tuesday afternoon. I haven't really uh, spent too much time in the workshop today and other things I needed to do. Um, but I did spend a little bit of time and what I did was, was did a little bit of an update on pipe 498. So here's the pipe. And originally I spoke about um, the possibility of drilling it out to make it um, usable uh, with a 9mm filter. Let me just put my gloves on. So the tenon was originally cut, it's a hand cut integral tenon. Um, and the idea of it was that it could be made for use as a regular tenon with no filter or to drill it for a tenon. So it's drilled for regular use without a filter. Um, I've actually sort of eased it as well. It was really, really stiff yesterday. So now it goes in with these and it just tightens as you put it in. It's got a slight um, taper on it, as I said yesterday, and it just makes it so much easier to put it in and out. It's completely solid once it's in. Um, it's almost like a, like an army mount, but in a very standard um, sort of formation. So that's with a regular non-filtered Eldritch. And what I've done is I've made a second stem um, in regular black ebonite. Somebody actually commented about um, it's not the reason why I did it, um, but I just figured it's better than redrilling it. And um, uh, somebody did comment that uh, they prefer it in regular, classical, traditional black. So that's why when I decided to make the second one, I did it in black um, rather than using another material. Um, but I had decided, I thought it'd be a cool idea to make a second stem. And so this is a 9mm stem. So we have a 9mm stem, very nice comfortable bit as always. I've um, slightly revised the way I've, I'm shaping uh, the buttons these days and you can see a little bit of a curve there. It draws out, I mean it's something I'm trying out, I've seen a lot of um, other pipe makers do the same thing. I can't say that I've been um, inspired by one particular maker on this particular point because many many pipe makers do this. Um, I always had a fairly straight line, um, but the last few pipes I've done with a curve, and um, I have to really smoke one myself like that to see if there really is any difference in terms of comfort. Um, but aesthetically, either you like it or you don't. Isn't it? I, I don't think it makes a huge difference aesthetically. Um, it just adds a curve. Um, but rounding things off sometimes can make them more comfortable, although I'm not quite sure on this application whether it does or not. But anyway, so we have another stem which is specifically for use with 9mm filters and it comes with the Eldritch stem which is for non-filters. I mean there's guys out there, plenty of friends that I've got on the YTPC who I know um, have both. They have filtered pipes and non-filtered pipes and they'll use them depending on which tobacco they're smoking. So somebody who buys this pipe with both stems will be able to use it for a variety of tobaccos which perhaps in the past they might have used several pipes for. So I just thought it was a cool idea to do that, see how that goes. So when it gets sold, hopefully when it will get sold, it'll be sold with two stems, one with and without a filter. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Catch you on the next one.